on everybody how are you uh it's good to see everybody welcome to the show super sorry it's been uh, it's been a hot minute uh you know honestly we had a, it was a little bit of a busy time uh in the uh in the roby tech universe is uh my daughter went through got just got her sweet 16 and then uh basically we just had my sons it's like one of his last meets and dad has yet to make any of them so i took a little bit of a break got some family stuff done and now super excited because we're here uh to do an incredible build for a certain special mom yeah who's like been waiting to get some celebration of her own and so she's been waiting patiently for this build but it's here it is time um if you guys feel a little bit of deja vu uh it, it, it's because figment saw a build that she absolutely loved said i want it to be green and i just need it to be a little bit uh i need it to be a little bit uh a little bit less expensive. And I always love builds like this because this is like where we basically, she had a, she had a vibe that she wanted. She knew that she wanted a certain amount of, you know, uh, support and all that sort of stuff in terms of performance, et cetera. So that's what we did. We made sure that she has everything that she needs um, and uh, it's done in the best way possible. So we have a really, really cool stream today. Uh, and I'm excited about it because it's a build that anybody can replicate. And it's using a brand new, one of the Radeon cards, the Radeon RX. Uh, 7700 XT. We've checked out the 7800 in a, in a, in a number of uh, builds already. This will be an all AMD build, which I know certain people will always uh, love to see. And so it should be cool. Uh, now, in terms of what are the giveaways for the stream? So we've got a number of them. Uh, the usual fare. Uh, we've got the um, we've got uh, the uh, usual 250 likes over on YouTube gets $25 new A gift card unlocked. Uh, if we get uh, if we uh, basically get a level five hype train, that's a $25 new A gift card. Uh, we also have um, we also have if we get 50 subs, we get a $50 new A gift card. Um, and we also have the build of the month that's sitting uh, right back here. Um, in fact, uh, we um, we actually have it sitting down here. So it's basically sitting down down here below. We'll show you guys that at the very month. At the very end, that's for subs. Any subscriber uh, who subscribes during the month of uh, September and October, uh, you're basically in to... Uh, I'll hype your train, that's right. Uh, you're entered to win uh, one of these epic systems. This one right here, well, something will be going to uh, our guy Riddick. We're just waiting for dad to get back from his cancer stuff. So he's basically just about wrapped up there. And then a lot of prizes and stuff will go out. So I know there's been a delay in some of the prizes. We're slowly getting those back in as dad's starting to get better. And we'll get all that stuff out to you guys here very, very soon. So if you want to get in on that PC giveaway, all you got to do is use your uh, your... Oh, what is it called? Your Prime Sub. Use your Amazon Prime Sub. One Prime Sub gets you one entry. Uh, if you subscribe to Tier 1, you get three entries. Subscribe to Tier 2, you get five entries. Subscribe to Tier 3, you get 10 entries. Uh, and then every gifted sub you give gives you an additional entry. Now, if you are one of those people who got a gifted sub, unfortunately, you need to use your own sub to be able to enter to win uh, that, epic, uh, that epic PC. It's like 2200 bucks. It's got a 4070 in it. Absolutely epic build, and that'll be up for grabs uh, for the month of October. So we'll get that. We'll switch this out. Put the new one in, that'll be the new giveaway one, and we'll do that here on the stream. So yeah, Glenn will be recovering and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so thank you very much for the, the well wishes. Um, outside of that today, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna build a build, we'll thermal test it, we'll basically, um, We'll basically see how it does in gaming. We'll check it in Starfield, Call of Duty, all that kind of rigmarole. Uh, and then once we're finished, we'll wrap it up, get it all ready, and out it goes uh, to uh, Figment, which uh, who is the commissionee of today's build. So it should be a fun stream. It's going to be a good build. Thank you very much for giving me the little bit of time to get a break in. We are back, uh, and we're, uh, we're going to be back to streaming and back to all that sort of stuff. Guys, we are back on Monday, and we're doing a custom water-cooled build, soft tomb water-cooled build inside of the Aza um, Spectrum. Yeah, the Aza Sanctum. Sorry, Aza Sanctum. So we're going to be doing a water-cooled build thanks to EK, using one of their all EK things. So we're actually going to do some custom water cooling. We've got a car tube build that's currently in the planning right now. We've actually got all the parts from Corsair. So you're going to see some custom loop stuff uh, for the next couple months. Uh, we've got a special Intel build that we're going to be doing and building here live on the stream and giving away. Um, and so we've got all sorts of really great stuff coming up and it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, <coughs> So uh, did he do well in his sport and did she enjoy her Sweet 16? She did, she did get a car. She knew that already. She got a Tesla Model 3, um, is, which is, a, for those of you who don't know, I will tell you this right now. Uh, if you want the safest car for your kid, 
Tesla like blows it out of the water in terms of all the safety and support. You can also control how her like how much she can go over the speed limit. Uh, it's got a lot of like where it can track. You can tail it that it can only come home. Um, you can do a lot of things to it to just make sure that uh, your young baby is going to be safe. And so my kids, both my kids, will get Teslas as their first cars. Um, and so she got a blue Model Three, um, the one that we used to drive. So she didn't get a new car. She got ours. We're purchasing a new one for us. She got ours, and then we'll go from there. So yeah. The, uh, the batteries, you know what, all in all, like I'm less worried about that than I am about, you know what, all in all, like exploding gas tanks or anything like that. She's, odds of stuff like that are actually pretty slow. Um, but again, really, really happy about that. So that's gonna be very cool. She did have really, her big, big, big birthday party is tomorrow. Yeah, I can, it can drive to outer space too. That's right, Kurosaki, in case she wants to go to Mars. She's got the option. Um, but the other thing that's gonna be really cool as well is she's gonna be heading, uh, she's got her big party tomorrow, oh, sorry, Saturday. Um, so that's gonna be pretty cool. We're probably gonna end up doing a gaming stream tomorrow. I might be, now that I, I was supposed to go to Portland to do a shoot for Intel, like I moved to Monday. So we're probably gonna do a gaming stream probably tomorrow night. We're gonna play some more Assassin's Creed Mirage and all that sort of stuff. But let's see, well, let's talk about the build for a certain someone who uh, is getting a PC built for her. So here is our parts list, all in green, because she wanted it that way. Uh, this is the build we are building for Figment. So it's an AMD Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. The Asus Tough Gaming B5, uh, B650 Plus Wi-Fi. We got the Asus Tough RX 7700 XT, a two terabyte SN850X NVMe drive, the GT502 case, which she absolutely loved, the Asus Tough Gaming LC240 ARGB cooler. So this will be completely and totally Asus Tough. And then the 750 watt gold PSU. So this is the build that she is getting. I'm actually really excited. Um, I'm actually really excited um, about uh, how this whole thing is gonna look. It is everything. The entire thing is tough. Um, and so she's gonna be basically doing it. And then of course we also have uh, her favorite, she really wanted them green and black cable mod cables. So we've got the green and black cable mod cables we're gonna be using in the build as well. So it'll be all green and black. It's gonna look just the way that she wants it. Um, and uh, that's, that's, that's the key thing, right? So it's a tough looking rig, right, Fiscus? I like it. So yeah, it should be cool. Um, let's go ahead and get started on the build though. Thank you very much to Afia, Exclusive Shadow, uh, also for the subs, we already got two subs. Guys, let's get those likes going. And then, you know, if we want to unlock a hype train or something like that, uh, that would be rad. But you know what, all in all, I'm more about building today. I missed you guys. So motherboard. <clears throat> hey, Figment, how many people did you bring? How many people are watching from your team? Because I know you wanted to have people watch. Though I have moved the stream on you a couple times, so it may not be a mini. Uh, and then guys, I do wanna let you guys know, something we're gonna be adding uh, here very, very soon uh, is we are getting the Odyssey 3. So um, so we'll be doing the Odyssey 3. Odyssey 3, we'll start doing some, some VR testing along with our benchmarking for the build to let you guys know how the builds work in VR. Uh, obviously with the launch of Apple Vision, um, we know that there's some people getting pretty excited about that. It seems like it's got some momentum again. So we're gonna go ahead and add VR in there too as well. So um, just so you know, it won't be with this build. It's obviously not out yet, but uh, we'll start checking how builds do in VR. So if you guys are interested in VR builds or how this is gonna perform, if you were to have like an Odyssey 3 or something like that, you absolutely can. Now they're self-contained, but they can also connect via PC. Um, so there's a bunch of really cool options and we'll start from there. Is it possible to do a laptop RAM or SSD install on Dream? We have, Fiscus, we have done that before. We've done these things called um, pre-built in gaming where we actually upgrade RAM on NV, uh, NVMe RAMs and SSDs on a stream and show how to do that stuff for sure. So yeah, we can absolutely do that. Okay, let's grab all of our cables and our RAM and all that sort of fun stuff. I'm gonna get a little bit more air in here. For some reason, it's still warm. It wasn't warm, but now it's nice outside. So it's, we're getting better. The temperature's getting better. I'm gonna go ahead and, okay, there we go. How are we doing, Nick? Well, this one we get to do something interesting we haven't done in a while. We're actually gonna put all the boxes and stuff because we don't need them. We're actually gonna do all this stuff and get it ready for recycle. So usually we, uh, 
we don't do this, but because this is a this is a commission build, we don't have to keep everything. Hey, Sergeant Nobody, thank you very much for the six gifted subs. And Farsider, thank you for the sub. Guys, guys, we're gonna do a hype train. We're gonna get a hype train. You guys are gonna make it happen. Getting Figment excited. There we go. Okay, so we've already benched this. We do a little bit more testing when we do these for customer builds. And typically, so. I, you did, Sergeant Nobody, because you got your name. Uh, maybe. I actually, I already know what I'm dressing up as for Halloween on the stream. I'm going to be dressing as a Hufflepuff wizard. So that's, I will dress up for the Halloween stream, but it will be as a Hufflepuff wizard. Already, already got my costume chosen and purchased. So... But you can, you can, it's already ordered, it's already done. I, I, if it's, if I'm gonna dress, you guys said you wanted me to dress up, I'm gonna dress up how I want, like for me, dude. Yeah, it's already here. Yeah, I spent some good money on it. Jack Black from Jumanji. Hey, thanks, JC. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's do ram clicks. I don't know, I don't know. I don't, let's, what should we do ram clicks like today? Oh, none of my techs are hanging out with me today. Uh, let's do ram clicks, let's do, let's do 95. Well, thank you, do the Drew, thank you very much for the sub. Guys, we're super close to unlocking that hype train. So we want to go in there, we just need a couple more of those, uh, we just need a couple more of those, of those uh, 100 bits or maybe one other sub and we'll basically hit it. Predictions up, guys. Thanks, Scott, for saying I'd be good into that. There we go. Oh, thanks, Pastor. What's up? What's up, T-Man? You got your PC back, finally? Yay! You've been waiting for that, dude. It took a long time. Cosmic Jordan. Okay, guys, two minutes and 23 seconds. We just need one more person to drop it, and we're going. Cosmic Jordan dropping five gifted subs. So somebody drops 100 bits, and we'll see how close we are. Who's going to drop that last sub or that last thing? Knockout dropping five gifted subs. Wow, we gotta be, we, I'm guessing we're already there. We're really dang close. There we go. Put this in the box. And just so you know, Figment, all of your stuff, extra stuff is in your box. So like if you need extra cables, ooh, we're close. If you need extra cables or anything like that, it's all inside of the, it's all inside of the motherboard box. If you're like, oh, where's my, it's all there. Okay. Guys, we're got, we gotta finish it out. We're so close. We already got, we're so close to level five. We just gotta get to level five and go beyond. B mock dropping a gifted sub. Najia dropping a gifted sub. Did is the is the is the I think thank you, T Man. Did what's the question I'm asking? Did um is the prediction done, uh Blondie? Because I need to do the I can't see it. Baba Ganoush dropping two gifted subs. Okay, it's done now. Okay, here we go. Guys, Baba Ganoush dropping it. Okay, we're now, all we have to do is finish this one and we're done. Okay, cool. Just making sure, 95 guys. Ooh, 93.9, okay. 
That's awesome, T-Man. Congratulations, dude. I bet you're glad to have your PC back. Oh, it did not do it at all, guys. That is definitely a no on today's build. It decided negatory on the build. Well, build is almost done in terms of this. Guys, we got to get that level five, but you know what this means right now? Justin Roby has a show. A-I-A-I-O. And on that show, he builds PCs. A-I-A-I-O. With a dad joke here and a zip tie there. RGB, RGB, and Bundy Bikiki. Justin Roby has a show. A-I-A-I-O. Okay, guys, pulling out the A-I-O. This is new. It's making its Roby Tech debut. This is the... Uh, the new tough one. So we're gonna have all tough in this build. It's gonna be a very tough build. So we're gonna be doing this one. Oh, it's doing the clippy thing. Okay, so I don't need to, mo I don't need to modify anything for this. The AIO does have RGB, guys. Guys, we still have, guys, we're really close to finishing this. We have two minutes and 54 seconds to finish this last level. You guys have gotten it all the way this close. Somebody just needs to get us from the last bit. Who's gonna keep the hype train going? Sergeant Nobody dropping five more. He's getting us halfway there, guys. Okay, so we're good to go here. Everything is ready for this. We can get our case now and get it prepped. Let's go to side here, bring our camera a little bit closer. There we go. Every bit counts, guys. They've done everything they can. They just need a couple more people to help us get it across. We can unlock that, uh, unlock that extra $25 new gift card. Katingu dropping six gifted subs, taking it to 100% and saying like, I'm done. I don't even wanna wait. Success, guys, good job, thank you. Okay, what we're working on right now is just getting our case prepped. Put these in there for now, just so we don't lose them. Might twist this a little bit more. There you go. Yes, you guys are rock stars. Thank you for all the help. Karingu, thank you very much. Between Baba Ganoush, Karingu, ba, uh, Sergeant Nobody. We got so many like new, we saw some new people there, which thank you very much, guys. Remember, that's all going towards that PC giveaway. There we go. Okay, that takes care of that. Let's go to the other side. Oop, guys, we got some peels in here. Actually, we'll probably keep these on, but just so you know, um, Figment, there's tape on these that you can take off. We're gonna keep these on for shipping because they're just easier to ship. So just make sure that you pull this tape off. If you wanna worry about removing the dust filter, but they're taped on right now. Okay, let's grab this twisty stuff here. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, I won't be able to tell you that until after all the streams are done. Till after, until we get through all the cases. Not all the cases, we don't have, we haven't reviewed all the cases yet. So I'm not gonna say that quite yet. Okay, we're just gonna remove our front, case, front bit here. There we go. Okay, let's go to top down. It's only in Starfield right now, right? That's the only thing it's really in right now, right, Dame? Uh, Damien? What are the other games it's in? Because I know that you follow this now that you're script writing. You follow a lot of this stuff pretty... Dame work. Dame work, my dude. What does that mean? Sorry. Oh, Dame. Okay, I'll call you Dame. Okay, cool. I'm just, I, I'm used to your normal name. <laughs> okay, cool. So we got everything in here. Clarks! Igor dropping two. Whoa, we're moving on up. I'm gonna undo, I might use nicer ones for this, so. I'm gonna keep theirs in, cause they just use their stuff. I'm just gonna cut it a little bit closer. There we go. His, I know his real name. Okay, cool. So we got all this ready. Everything's prepped back here. Let's flip this over and get it inside the case. Okay guys, everything looks clean here. I like it. Okay, let's get our, ooh. What do we need? I forgot we have, oh yeah, we, we're gonna do side. I have side fans, okay. So I have what, so just so you know, hold on, let me see. I don't remember what we did here. Yeah, okay, I think, I'm gonna go ahead and give it to you. Why not? I don't remember if I charge you for them, but it doesn't matter. We're giving you the full look. Uh, yeah, we can do zip tie kick count. Here we go. Uh, hold on one sec. I really wish this would stick to, hold on. Okay, here we go, guys. Zip tie count, here it comes. Zip tie man, zip tie man. Okay, guys, get your Just zips in. Just them if you can. Even Zars, who can know? Make your wagers on every show. Hey, now, Roby's the zip tie man. Okay, guys, get your zip tie count in. Okay, we're just moving these, so we're gonna put the fans in. Sorry guys. Hmm. Doing the wow stick, it's just faster. Yeah, that's it. it's getting cheaper and cheaper, BMOC. Well, we'll have Hogwarts. I don't think I have Jedi on here, but we'll be able to check Hogwarts. I think I have Hogwarts installed, so we'll check it on that. Ooh. 
Ups, zips. Okay, we got all our stuff out for fans. How did Cooler Master this? The, there's a lot of cable management room for this one, uh, for this, and this isn't. This is ASUS. So, go to side here. Let's grab our fans. So I don't actually end up needing to use any of these. I will use the splitter, but I won't use any of the rest of this stuff. Okay, let's get our fans out here. does this hold? This will do four fans. But if I do it the way that I was gonna do it, then I can just control it via there. Hey, Blondie got a sub. Everybody say thank you, BMOC. Okay, just undoing the twisty ties here for all the fans right now. You saved the stream. I like that. You saved the stream. T-Man, what's up? I think everybody was really worried. So we're gonna do exhaust, uh, intake, intake, exhaust, exhaust. It's gonna be Monday, Talarian. We had a uh, we had a snafu with uh, well, not a snafu. I had to uh, I had a sweet sixteen party, so it kind of pushed everything back. So Sunday will be the uh, as a sanctum build with EK. So we're doing a custom water cooled build that day. Let's see, I, how I gave birth to RGB. So I don't know if you guys know this, but my first girlfriend in high school was Rainbow Bright. And uh, you know, she knew I was into tech and stuff. And she was like, Roby, she was like, Roby, how, uh, how, how do I make your dreams come true? You know, I was quite a catch in high school. And the thing was, is that all the girls, like I had all the attention of all the girls and uh, they were like, and she's like, how do I keep you? And I was like, you know, the only thing that would make me happy is if we had like pretty colored lights in PCs. And so uh, hence the birth of PC RGB. So uh, that's, that's where it all came from. So that was the, that's where RGB came from was right there. And you're welcome. So, you know, so you guys can thank me for PC RGB. I'm just saying. And you're welcome, you know? So PC cases, you know, that's an interesting one, uh, T-Man, because, uh, you know, I was thinking about that for PC cases, hold on one sec, for, I'm trying to think, I, you guys, I think it would be easier versus me just remembering like what, what, 
what cases have come out this year. Cause I don't like, they all kind of merge in my head. Um, so what are so like, so I know we have the 011 XL, which I mean, again, we've had the NV7 and the NV5. Hold on guys, I just want to look at something real quick. All right, cool. Um, good build. Uh, to Fudley one, I've uh, I after the whole thing that happened on Kick uh, with um, their founder and the stuff that happened around, uh, you know, with the kind of materials and stuff that they've been supporting. It just didn't really fit my brand, so I've decided to uh, bow out uh, from uh, streaming on Kick for right now. So I'm just streaming on Twitch and yeah. So that was that was more the reason. Uh, the NV7, like I didn't mind the NV7. It was probably one of the best performing cases, and they did a lot to make sure that a case in the NV7 looked really showcase. But the problem that I had with it is just that giant forehead. Like, I don't understand, like, the giant forehead. Like, that was, yeah, but, yeah. Um, the NV5 I like better. I'm, I'm disappointed that they don't, they, they weren't able to find a way to do, like, the angled stuff. But I know some of it had to do with like making room for the cake for uh for ooh, let's go to top down. Sorry guys. Oops, I almost put this in backwards, guys. Luckily I caught it. I'm assuming smoke it's the NV9. Oops, shoot. Oh gosh darn it. Yay, okay. I don't think the piece, the Core P6 isn't bad at all. We tested that one, it's actually really good. Um, I actually haven't tested the Cougar Gemini, so I don't, I, don't have an, I don't have a response in terms of which one between the Cougar and the Gemini is better. I mean the Cougar and the Core P6. The Core P6 was fine. And you can see my full review for that is up and the NV5 review went up today. So the, the Halloween, it's all part of Soundstripe. It's all part of the subscription that I use. It looks like they added it um, as just part of the electronic stuff. So they seem to add it in there. So you end up with like on point music for when you stream. So I uh, like if you're ever a streamer and you want to get into streaming, I definitely recommend uh, using services like Soundstripe, like uh, Story Storyboard or yeah, storybooks, stuff like that. It just makes, can really add to your stream. You know what I mean? I get a lot of compliments on the music. Okay, one fan in. Sorry, that took a lot longer than I expected, but I did what I always do, backwards fan. And I'm just making sure that the fans are facing the right direction. I 
I want to make sure that this actually is right. There we go. That's important, you know. That's important, you know. Wouldn't you see? Yeah, I didn't, I, I guess you guys didn't know that. I thought I told you the story about how I invented uh, RGB because of Rainbow Bright. I mean, I was a, guys, I was a, I was a big, I was popular in high school. Just saying. And when Rainbow Bright went to my high school, it was, I mean, we were pretty excited. He was pretty excited. She's like the tea swizzled my time. Did you guys ever have crushes on cartoon characters? Wow, fuddy one. He's doubting me. Okay, I'll hydrate here in a sec. Was that from Figment? Is she trying to make sure I don't pass out until I finish her build? I did not bully. No, I absolutely was. I would never bully. I, no, that would hurt. That hurts my heart to think that somebody thought that. No, Ollie, I did not bully. No, I would not do that. Princess Jasmine, no, she was, no, I'm not gonna lie. Princess Jasmine's pretty cute. Okay, guys, we got three fans in. Makes me happy. I think I might actually go down to here. I just know that this 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 bin started to be, was a little bit bigger than I remember. So, is it lighting? Is it the lighting? Are you using? I am using screws that came with the fans. So for the for these specific fans. So these are lighting, these are the screws that came with the fans. If you're asking specifically. The fans on these, these fans actually perform really well. Yes. And you guys will see that when we did the review. Now this, the, I expect the temps to be a little bit higher in this versus the, um, the cooler we used in the 7700X version of this. Um, they'll still, it'll still be well within control, but I will say that the, 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 the mount that they have a tendency to use on this one doesn't, hasn't necessarily been the best for temps, um, but it still, I mean, it still works well. Okay, there we go. First, first fans of the build done. Okay, we're just gonna shove these down here for now, just to store them. Okay, there we go. Okay, so our first three fans are in. The next three fans are gonna go on the bottom which we'll do after we install our, 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 our motherboard. There we go, guys. First fans. Cosmic, I owe you a drink. Looks good. I like it. I'm actually really excited about the fact that this will all be, this entire thing will be tough. I hydrated by the way, guys.
Yeah, it should be good. Figment, how we have? Are we happy? Yeah, we got some more zip ties. Really, Sergeant Noe? I actually bought, I actually bought a uh, a lottery ticket. I did not win anything. <clears throat> Send me chippy, and no one gets hurt. I'll see if we can get you a chippy. I no promises. Those are like I, Bl I, Blondie doesn't even have one. They've been, I will tell you, Intel has been trying to reach out to you, Blondie, about getting you a chippy. Oh, you do have one. Oh, never mind then. Okay, I feel better. There we go. We're starting to permanently put parts in here. This is like the permanent stuff. This is like finally your build is coming together. That is true, the fuddy one. My wife was super mad I bought a lottery ticket. She was like, why? She's like, you would still work. <laughs> I was like, true. I would still do this. I would just give more stuff away. I'd probably build, I'd probably build a PC on every stream and just give it away. That's what I'd do. I'd pretty much just be like, okay, we're giving this one away. And we're giving this one away. Oh, I wouldn't change anything. I'd just give more money away. I'm all about generosity. And I refuse to buy more than one. Like I'll buy one lotto ticket. Uh, we're using the 750 watt uh, Tough, which I am a huge fan of that PSU, by the way. That PSU is amazing. I love, love the... Uh, I love the cables in it. Okay, guys, PSU is in. I mean, motherboard. Thanks, Wiz. How are we doing likes on YouTube? But she reminds me, Wiz, how are, we, how are we doing likes on YouTube? On YouTube. Whoa. 78, guys, keep going. There we go. Not gonna use this. Whoa. Okay, let's throw our cables in. Okay. Time to get our cables into their spots. OK, 
Okay, so we have our front panel connectors coming down here. Oops, let's lift this up so you guys can see what I'm doing. Trying to find out a new way to do lighting. Okay, so we got front panel connectors coming down here. We got our USB-C coming here. HD audio coming here. And then we've got USB 3.2. Does it really only come out? I thought it, I remember it coming out of the side here. Yeah, it does, okay. USB 3.2 coming out right here. There we go. The rest of this is all extra for fans and stuff like that, which we haven't figured out yet. This will come in when we do the other RGB. I think we actually have a header, two headers here. Yeah, we have two headers, so I guess I can do one header separate. So we'll do this header right here. All right, so we're gonna plug in our header right here. Okay. Plug in our USB-C right there. USB 3.2 right here. Power switch. Reset switch. No, oh, come on, come on. We'll do the reset switch first. There you go, power switch right on top of that. HD audio right over here. There we go. Okay, so I'll show you those top down, but we got HD audio. The We got our front panel connector. We got our USB-C, USB 3.2, and then our RGB. I'll show you the top-down version of that here in a minute. So going to top-down, just so you guys can see that a little bit better. So this is the RGB from the case. So that's plugging into one of these up here. We got our USB 3.2 which is for your front panel, your USB-C for your front panel. Down here you have your power, your power button and your reset switch. Uh, and then over here you have your HD audio. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install the bottom fans. So we'll get our last set of fans. These are like our last big set of fans. Get all of our fans installed. go. Okay. We have all our screws here. Yeah, please guys, don't forget to head over to the YouTube. Let's link it, let's get it, let's get that likes. There's 270 people here right now, so we definitely have enough people already. Uh, the tough is the B650E. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about parts list so you guys can see that one more time. It's a good call, thanks T-Man. So we got the AMD Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, pretty much one of the best, if not the best gaming CPU. Uh, 13.7 is also really good if you want to do both gaming and uh, productivity. Uh, you have the Asus Tough B650 Plus Wi-Fi. You got the Asus Tough RX 7700 XT. 
Um, you've got G Skill Triton Z, oh, sorry, two terabyte SN850X uh, from WD, which is great. You've got the G Skill Triton Z5 Neo RGB at 32 gigs for 6,000 megahertz. Uh, you've got the Asus Tough GT502 case. Uh, for our power supply, we're using the Gaming Tough 750 watt gold PSU, which I absolutely love this PSU. And then finally, for our uh, AIO, we got the Asus Tough Gaming LC240 ARGB. So this will be, if you guys remember, we did a, um, we did another version of this build not that long ago, but that one we used the 7800 XT. This is using the 7700 XT. And she had a pretty hard budget that she wanted to hit in. Um, so we were keeping it right at around $2,000. And this one came out now just shy of 19, but she had a hard hit in terms of what she wanted to spend on the build. So yeah. And then we also have fans and all that other stuff, which brought up the rest of the cost. So nine, you know, seven fans and all that jazz. Which is always which is always a good thing. We always want lots of fans. Yeah, and, and the cool thing about the 7700 XT, which I'm really excited that we're using it on today's stream, is that we actually haven't had a chance to test it. So we'll actually get to see how it performs. Oh, it's I was like, where's the oh yeah, there it is. Uh, Thalman for gaming, this thing would crush. The X3D, man, there are games that just love X3D. So, uh, Figment, what are you gonna do, what are you gonna do with, uh, with this build? Like, what's the plan? I know work is some of it, but what else is going in there? T-Man, sorry, I'm just gonna say T-Man. I always have to remind myself to say T-Man. What did, what are you... Okay, we got all our fans in here. Let's put them in now. Ugh. Okay, so we actually inside, we actually have a Little fan removal, always a good thing. Move that out. Ugh. So these have got to go like this. Yeah, I haven't, uh, Luca, the screwdriver's amazing, yeah. I love the, I love the, uh, I love the wow stick. There we go. You know what I'm itching to play right now is actually Assassin's Creed Mirage. You know, I'm just thinking about this. I'm like, what am I going to do tonight? You know what I mean? Uh, we got a pure RG build coming up next week. We're going to be doing the all EVA 02. So we're going to be doing the Eva, the uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion build. So that's an all Asus ROG build. Yes, it is cheaper than Linus' screwdriver. And I would also say better. I haven't gotten Forza yet. I need to, I know it's on Game Pass, but I need to have a, a WoW Gaming as well, WoW Gaming as well as pursuing new games that I ha won't be able to play. My PC's over 10 years old and it's a potato. So when you say WoW Gaming, you play World of Warcraft, Figment?
Who did we lose to? Uh, who did we lose to Forza? Crap! You're right. Oh, thank you. I was not paying attention. What's up, Araxnus? Well, I'm okay with him. If there's any reason to lose it to not have be here, it's always for gaming. Thank you for calling out this, the, the, the fan orientation. Now, thank you for catching that. I got distracted. Well, that WoW will play beautifully on this. We should have installed it. Um, Cause I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm hankering for some WoW classic hardcore. Oh, no, I'm Alliance, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna stop building this PC now. We're just gonna send it to the rest of her and uh, for the horde. Are you gonna go to BlizzCon? Um, Nonstop winning, I actually haven't played Tears of the Kingdom. Honestly, I, I find the, the new Zelda games not that fun. <laughs> Alliance herpes, that's right, I should lick it. All over the place. <laughs> Yeah, Raxus, we've actually done a, quite a few AMD builds. 7800 XT is a dang good card, so. You know, it's so funny. <laughs> Bmox like 4060 Ti, and by the way, we're giving away two of them. <laughs> if you want them for free, there's two available to win. Just, uh, all you gotta do is watch the video. Okay, there we go, guys. This build is coming together. It's looking good, guys. It's looking really good. Ugh. Side view. And there we go. Another build. Starting to, starting to fill out, which always makes me happy. Okay, there we go, guys. Build is, there it is starting to come together. Let's get our, let's grab our last fan we need.
Grabbing the last fan, sorry. Don't want these pieces to fall. There we go. Last fan. Which always makes me happy. Okay. We're just gonna put in our exhaust fan. And then we are done with fans. That's like the one of the big steps. And then we can do our AIO. I will say Intel art cards are great cards and XESS is fantastic. So if you get an Intel card, as long as you are okay with what you're getting from a resolution and stuff, they are, their, their value is amazing. Yes, this is a very good $2,000 build. Okay, I'm gonna put this down so we can run our cable. Seemed like it was doing pretty good there for a minute. Okay. Okay, I want this to run up and out. Okay, we've just tucked that in there. So tucking the cables to hide them so you can't see them. And there we go. All the fans are in. I love it. Can't see those that fan cable at all, which looks great.
And we now have all of our fans, guys. Now the question is, maybe I should go ahead and plug in the fan. Maybe I should just go ahead and do the fan cables real quick. I think I should just go and run fans. Get those done and cable managed and then we'll worry about our AIO. Well, maybe no. Let's do our AIO because it has the same thing. So we're gonna do the AIO and then we'll, do, we'll deal with all our cables and do it all at the same time. So let's get our AIO done. So AIO time. Let me get this undone. BMOC resubscribe, good if around $200. What are you talking about? Yep, it's an all Asus build. There we go. Okay. There's our build, our AIO top. Okay. Let's grab our LC240. Asus does not make RAM. Okay guys, AIO coming out. Justin Roby has a show. AIO. And on that show he builds PCs. AIO. With a dad joke here and a zip tie there. RGB, RGB, and Bondi Bikiki. Justin Roby has a show. AIO. Okay guys, AIO time. Here we go, get our fans out. The exact, oh, these are a little bit different, okay. We got some stickers right here. Just got some tough gaming stickers. Okay. RGB splitter. There we go. There's our AM5 connector. Fan header for that. Okay, guys. Everything here is empty. AIO is ready to go in. Okay, there we go.
And then we'll do I'm going to put it right in the center there. There we go. Making sure this is all secure now. There we go. No risk here. There we go. Oh yeah, guys, we're only three subs away from the 50 new a gift card. I just realized that. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here's all of our small screws. Okay, let's flip this over. This, this looks like it has a peel, but I don't see the peel. Okay, maybe it doesn't have a peel. <clears throat> Guys, go get your YouTube likes in. We gotta get this done. Figment, Figment needs some hype. We can do it. What's up, Blade of Ice? So good to see you, man. Okay, here we go. Hey, two gifted subs. Thank you very much, Anonymous. Taking it to 50, we've done it. We're on our way to a $100 new gift card now. Okay, guys, there we go. There we go. Okay, next round done. Now we are gonna go ahead and do, this isn't enough thermal paste, I'll be honest. Oh no. Oh. Oh man, I hate these. Not a fan of these type of con 
type of connectors. We are gonna put our own thermal paste in though. Not enough of it. Okay, I got it on. Okay, good. Okay, cool. Okay, everything is ready to put inside of the build. That's, that's too bad, Figment. I think you'll survive, though. Okay. Here we go. Ugh. Actually, let's real quick go to top down, get some thermal paste on this bad boy. Wow, that sucks, Blade. Make sure we got lots of coverage here. There we go, okay. We got thermal paste on. Now we can get this inside the case. Luckily, this is this thing comes really far out, so perfect. We have lots of room to plug in our cables and all that kind of jazz, which is always my favorite.
Oh, is it too quiet, guys? I can turn up a little bit if you guys want. I turned it up a little bit. Good, Roby Cat approves. Okay guys, there it is. First I'm gonna do is plug in, this is our fan. That's to do our fans. Okay, that's CPU fan. Thermal one is go. I'm going to disconnect this because this is going to go for the all the RGB for the AIO. I'm going to grab my AIO plug here. Get rid of our little white cable on here. Which I really appreciate them putting on here, not. There we go. Okay. Now we're gonna do, take our white cable. There we go. That, I mean, sorry, our RGB cable, plug that in and run this up too. So the cable split like this so I can, so I can plug multiple RGB into it. The other one was split so I can plug in multiple, uh, multiple, um, multiple fan headers into it. Okay, now we're gonna, what we're gonna do, work on real quick, is we are going to get our pump on. There we go. There we go. Okay, there we go, plugged in. Okay, now we're gonna run this up. There we go. Now we just need to make sure that this runs nicely. Up and in.
right there. Okay, and then the rest of these cables get zip tied into a single ugh, connection spot. There we go. Nope, nope, stay in my ear. Okay. So we'll need one zip tie to hold these in. PC guy, it's the, yeah, the ASUS Tough LC240. I'll show you the parts here in a minute. It's essentially an all ASUS Tough build. Oh shoot. Hey guys, we're almost at cable management part. Okay. AIO is plugged in and hooked up. We're good, a fan is in. We have everything we need, right? So now it's time to make sure it all works. So now it's just time to get all this stuff hooked up in the back. Okay, top down time. So this is all about getting fans and all that jazz. Wait, I plugged in the other, where did the other RGB go? Oh, I was like, wait, I'm blind, okay. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our two RGB. I mean, our two fans. Make sure nothing's wound into them. How are we doing likes on YouTube? Yeah, there's plenty of room in the back of this case. It's got lots of cable management room, which is nice. And you actually can put a radiator and stuff back here too, if you really wanted to, to add some additional cooling, especially if you were gonna do a water-cooled build. Okay, so we're gonna throw this in here, right here, and this right here. So that takes care of our fans for, and they're plugged into CPU, so that'll be easy. So those will take care of our cooling needs. The only thing we got right here is this and this. These have to plug into here. Nice, very long RGB pins, which is actually very cool. So that'll make these definitely stay, which is nice. There we go, one more. Okay, AIO is all hooked up. And then we have, this is all our stuff for our... Just 
grab our cable stuff here. Now it's time to just get this clean and under control. Nothing too crazy, just getting it where it needs to be. All right, now, This is just to make sure that this, let's go and grab our green cable. Ugh. Throw that one in. For our CPU, there it is. There we go. First green and black cable in. Yep, as promised, Figment. Come on. There we go. Okay. Just working on getting the Let me clone that one up because it's going to get used. There we go. This is just making it look nice, guys. Go. 
There we go. Okay, we're getting through it. So all the cable management stuff, always the stuff that takes a little bit of extra time, but all in all just makes the build look way better when it's all said and done. Plus you get to see the back of the motherboard design, which nobody ever usually gets to see. Look at that. Look at all the arrows and tough target stuff on the back of this. Okay, there we go. Takes care of that. Okay, now we gotta figure out this, all these fans down here. We got a lot of fans. So these are bottom fans. So we're gonna grab our cables here. El Genericos, thank you very much for the, uh, sorry, I, did, I missed that. Thank you for the sub. Water. Guys, we need 100 more likes. Head on over, let's get the link. Go hit that thumbs up, go get that thumbs up done. Just making sure none of these are twisted up. Perfect. Now we just simply, simply the best down here, better than all the rest. Okay, we're just plugging in our fans. And then we're just gonna put these down. That's not a fan. There it is. There's our last fan one. Okay, there we go, fan. Okay, cool. Okay, this is our other group of fans. We already got one $25 new gift card hooked up, ready to go, guys. Let's get the, let's get two. like this thing it's like I'm trying to unto okay there we go there are our other ones okay there we go okay There we go. Okay, these are, hold on one sec guys, I gotta check something real quick. Hold on, buddy. Hold on, guys.
Okay. Okay, let's get this in. Okay, so now these are all about what we're gonna do down here. Ooh, shoot. Okay, I just realized some stuff. Okay, so we're gonna make some quick changes here. I'm just gonna take these real quick. So these are gonna be separately and I'm just gonna zip, uh, not zip tie, but tie these together so they stay out of the way. It's all our RGB. Okay. okay, I'm gonna put these up. Okay, so we're gonna go to side here. Disconnect this, run it under. Okay, now. Run one triple fan set right here. There we go. Then we're going to take this other triple fan set. And it goes over here on the other side here. Okay, so now that I have all those hooked up, now what I'm gonna do is now I can put this down and I can essentially take all of these cables here. And I'm gonna actually do it. It's gonna be a lot easier if I do it down. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm heads down here. Usually we have a, like a Zeiston or somebody in the chat today, but unfortunately I can't see chat and focus on cable management. So, and not, it, you know, it makes sense. Not all the time can I have chats, uh, text in the chat. So, okay, we're working on, working on getting, I'm just working on getting all of the cables managed here at the bottom. Trying to figure out a way to make these cables more manageable. All right, there we go. Okay. So going to top down, what I'm working on right here is just getting the, just trying to get these cables to cleaner spots. And then they'll just be put on, down to the bottom. So all of the fan cables are basically just managed. Uh, it's, a, it's, it is, it's very, it's dual chamber like the height Y60, that's, that's fair. It's got that, uh, it's definitely got that appearance and vibe to it. I can, I can understand that. Um, not as not as uh, hardware restricted as the height Y60 though. Height Y60 definitely has some hardware restrictions, just given the where the glass and stuff is. And then this one, obviously, you can do vertical or horizontal um, for your uh, vertical or horizontal for your GPU um, mount, which the height Y60 you can only do vertical. Okay, so we've got those kind of down in there now. So one thing I do a little bit different here, just because we have so many fans, is I have 
These are like, they're not tied, tied down. There's like a nice place to kind of have them down below here, the below the PSU. So they're loose. So if somebody came, something came up and somebody would have checked fan connections, you could still do that very easily uh, versus like tying them down super tight. So just a little bit better for maintenance purposes here. Okay, so now what we have is we just got to figure out all of our RGB. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six RGB here, seven total. I think we have, I think, uh, let, me, let me see how many headers I have left here. RGB headers. And I have, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna run, I think I've got five. Let me see what I can plug into this. This'll do five. And this has got seven, so I have to run two of these. Which is why I got two. This will be it, guys. After this, it's base the. This is the hardest part right here. After this, it, it's way easier. Come on, guys! Let's hit those likes. There's over 300 people here now. Okay, going to side here. Side, I. There we go. Okay, there is those. That's that RGB group. So much RGB, but we got to make sure this lights up like a Christmas tree. You know what I'm saying? Last one up here. Okay, and this one. Up here. thinking it was going to hurt me, but it didn't.
Okay, there we go, okay. <laughs> so many RGB connections now. Okay, that was a lot of work just to get, we just have a lot of RGB guys. So much RGB. And that's just the pro. Sometimes this is why we love Daisy Chain fans. You know? Okay, that takes care of that one. We'll do these three up here. There we go. Okay. Okay, one group of RGB. One thing I do appreciate about stackable cases is just that you do have stackable places to put things. So we're just gonna group this RGB together. There we go, there's all our RGB. Yeah, if you, Araxis, if you do not have RGB, you guys know this will impact your performance tremendously. So RGB is vitally important to the success of your build. And so we're just gonna make sure it's as good as it needs to be. We just can't be too crazy with tightening this down, but there we go. Last little bit of RGB to come in and fix here in a minute. Let me put in our GPU. my oh that's they fell I was like where are my cutters there we go guys we're getting there only one more group of cables to hook up and then we're done with all the RGB yay And then it's all, okay. Woo, that was a lot of work. Okay, last, we're gonna put that away. Same as like what we had with the other one. Just gonna kinda do it down at the bottom and then just kinda let it sit down here.
There we go. Okay, guys. There's all of our cables connected. We've got everything kind of now cable managed. Now we can do all the fun stuff. Yay! Everybody, can we have a little bit of celebration? It's always, there's always just a lot to plug in when you don't have the, when you don't have the fans that you can just uh, daisy chain. So that's all, it's just a lot of cables. So it takes a lot of time, but we got them all in. Celebration. Now is just the fun part. We're gonna put in our couple more, get our GPU in, get our couple more cable extensions in and then just finish this build out. So this is like the, we're at the end now. Thank you, Lord Pansington. Guys, how are we doing likes on uh, likes on uh, YouTube? We're 350 people here now. Let's get this, uh, let's get these likes taken care of. We have more, more than enough people. Let's get it done. Let's drop a link. Okay, flip this over. Get our GPU in, whoops. Ah, I was like, what cable is missing? Cover, okay, this one, ooh. Got a couple that came undone. Take these bad boys. Okay, flip this over. GPU time. Okay, let's go to GPU time. Hit that like all. Go hit that like, everybody go do it. Let's see if we can get to 200. Just knock them out really quick. Keep going, keep going. Just keep hitting that like. Jump over there, get that like knocked out. Jump over, get that like knocked out, and then I'll show you guys, once I get the GPU installed, we'll, uh, we'll see what the uh, parts are. There we go. Here we go guys, the Asus Tough Radeon RX 7700 XT. There we go. We do have Couple things. So we're making sure we remove this before, like it says to. Um, I don't think you could do that. You, I'm sure there used to be a company that you could buy like covers for AIOs, um, for AIO tubes, but I haven't seen that in a long time. But I, I definitely know you can, yeah. I don't know if it's gone, I've just seen it. I used to be companies, I know that uh, cable mod used to sell them, but I don't know if they do it anymore.
I don't think it helps that not all the cable, the AIO cables are like the same thickness. I think it was a lot more standard, it'd probably help. Okay, here we go. One tough. Too tough. Well, no, because I mean, a PC doesn't have to, a PC is a personal thing. I don't think it's, I think if somebody likes green, they like green. I think that's better that like, they don't let, they don't let brands determine the colors they want. Uh, we could link the price. They're not that, they're pretty, they're, they've gotten better. There we go. There we go. Okay. That's a lot of appeal. Very appealing. Ooh, look at that. It looks so good. It's all toughed out, boys and girls. There we go. It looks tough. That's right, Cosmic Jordan, it looks tough. Okay. Now, we have the GPU in. Oops. We have one cable tie just sitting up here. There we go. Okay, now let's get our cables done. Time for the green, ladies and gentlemen.
Okay, we're just working on the cable combs real quick. I'm gonna shoot. These cable combs take a little bit more work than the other ones. Okay, there we go. I have four, one, two, three. Okay, so I can do four per, okay. I'm working on cable combs here. And these are like different, the cable, the cable mods ones are a little bit different. So not as, they're not, I kind of like the Asian horse one, Asian horse ones better, but uh, these guys have the color, so. And don't get me wrong, Cable Mod makes great cable ca co extensions. They just, their cable combs are kind of interesting with the kits. Oh, shoot. Okay, we'll keep working on that here in a minute. Okay. First one in. This is just gonna, this is, these are gonna take obviously, these always take the little bit, like the longest amount of time, but they're gonna make for good looking cables. Oh, thanks Pillsbury. Understand if you're tired, you're tired, man. Gotta get the rest. This is why I moved the streams to earlier so more people can tune in and see the posts and everything else. Right now what I'm working on is just getting these cables retrained. Have a great night, Pillsbury. How are we doing likes? 66 more likes, guys. Come on, go hit those, go hit that like. Oh, whoa, we have way more. Oh, we had another like, whoa. Could have done way more on here. One, two, three, four, five.
Okay. Going to side view so I can. Key thing is just to get them to stay together. What I'm doing is connecting these together. There we go. And then, as you kind of do that, next step is about moving these cables, these cable combs, about the same location on both cables here. Okay, so see how that looks. I think it looks good. And now it looks clean. There we go. How's that look? Now they look nice and tight and twisted and the way they should. Okay, last cable that needs extensions is getting this untwisted. Luckily, this one isn't so bad because all we really need is a top part. Okay, we're just getting the cable extensions in.
Okay, sorry, just taking some extra effort here to, these are a little bit more troublesome than the other ones. Once you, I think once you get the first one is, maybe this won't be as bad, because you can just like, maybe you can just twist this up, I'm hoping. Seems to work better that way, okay. Oh shoot. Thanks for being patient with me, guys. This is a, okay, there we go. Not as simple as the uh, Asia Horse ones, but in now, okay. Look at that from the other side. Give us a little shorter leash here. Kind of want a tighter loop here on this one. Not quite that tight. There we go. That looks good. Okay. How's that look? Nice tight green and black. Ugh. Okay, so we're gonna just put this right here. Top down. If I can get if I can get uh, Mirage downloaded, yeah, we'll try it on we'll try it on a Radeon card since we haven't gotten to. Uh, we'll just have to see if I can download it in time because it's Ubisoft Connect and I actually prepped this this build was ready for uh, Tuesday so. It's been a couple days since it's been on, and Mirage wasn't out yet at the time. Okay. There we go, guys. Let's get our PSU in, and then we gotta turn it on. How are we doing likes on YouTube, guys? Honestly, I really, for cable extensions, I really like the, uh, I really like Asia Horse. Yeah, it's like 38 gigs. Guys, we need 51, we have over 300 people here. Just to remind people while I'm grabbing the PSU, here are the parts list that we have for today's build. We use the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. We've got the uh, Asus Tough Gaming B650 Plus Wi-Fi. Uh, we have the Asus Tough RX 7700 XT. For our SSD, we have a two terabyte SN850X um, NVMe SSD. For RAM, we've got G-Skill Triton Z5 Neo RGB AMD at 6,000 mega transfer. For our case, we have the Asus Tough GT502. 
Uh, for our uh, a, uh, a AIO, we have the Tough Gaming LC240 ARGB. And for the PSU, we have the 750-watt gold uh, Asus Tough 750-watt gold. So it's like an all-Asus Tough uh, build. Noah Bra, yeah, I reach out. Okay, just getting out all our cables. How you doing, editor? How are you? Okay, we're just getting out our PSU. Okay. I am doing well. I'm doing very well. Thank you very much, Corn Freak, for asking. We are at the very end of this build. We don't need SATA. We do need one of those. We don't need Molex. We do need one CPU. We don't need this one. We do need PS, that one. We don't need that. We can use this one. I have one CPU, right? There we go. That's all the cables. Okay. So for cables, this is a PCI-5, which is nice. So we still use a PCI-5 connection. Ow. Even though it didn't hurt me, but I still like them always. The cables are sort of labeled. They're labeled on the PSU side. So for instance, when you look at this, it says CPU, and then this is just the part that plugs into the PSU. Next cable we need is our big 24 pin. Like it says, it says ATX on it. So it is labeled on the Plug this in right here. Then the last cable we need is our ATX power supply cable, which means so I can use the splitter now. So it uses the 16 pin for PCIe, but then it splits into two eight pins. Okay, so there's our power. There we go. One more cable, one more screw. Last screw of the build. There we go, guys. All the screws are in. Build is done. Now I gotta do is plug in the last of the cables, just make sure they're cable managed. So first one. Belongs to here, this is your CPU cable.
That's weird. It says my stand, it's like my stand goal. I'm like, I've been standing the whole time. What are you talking about, Apple Watch? Okay. There's that one. Now, There we go. There we go, next one. We need 40 more. Definitely enough people in chat to do this. Okay, last cable. There we go. Last zip tie, guys. Okay, there it is. Build is done. There it is, Pandoria. All finished. Let's make sure our front looks good because I was playing with the cables. No, oh, that shot way out. Okay. Okay, now we got it. Here is the front view. I think that looks good. What do you guys think? Okay, hydrate, stretch. Okay. Oh, that was a that was quite. It was a focused build. We're gonna do zip tie count here in a minute. Okay, let's get our. Okay, let's get our parts back on here. Ooh, first thing we gotta do, 
almost forgot. Ugh. There we go. Thirty-one likes needed for YouTube, guys. There we go. Okay, next up. Top and, okay, let's get the back on. Saved it. There we go. Okay. Ugh. Okay, let's get our top thing here. Nice, you're very welcome, Trey. Okay, let's get our cooler stuff here. There we go. Build is looking good. All right, let's get our top Velcro in. Velcro, oh, I put, dang it. Put the Velcro inside of the build. Like, where's the Velcro? Oh yeah. You dummy, you did that. Okay, here we go. Oh shoot, I only grabbed one of them. Guys, I'm an idiot. Okay, first one. Now I gotta go back in the box because I'm dumb because I thought I grabbed them both, but I did not. I like how I thought this was a good idea, which it was, but then I forgot I did it. Okay, now I have the last piece. Nope, 
I did it wrong. Do it the other way. There we go. Okay. It is done. The build is finished. Now we're just going to go through our sponsor for today and then do the rest. Then we'll, then we'll, but let's do our zip tie count real quick. Zip tie count. Okay, here we go. How many zip ties do we got top down? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. There's five. One, two, three, four, five. There's ten. One, two, three, four, five. There's fifteen. One, two, three, four, five. There's twenty. One, two, three, four, five. There's twenty. Wait, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-eight, guys. Twenty-eight. It is even today. Twenty-eight. Even it is today, even. Twenty eight guys. Okay, let's get our stuff ready for the ugh. there it is. There we go. Okay. Your sponsor. And then we'll get into the thermals and all the fun stuff. You demand a recount, huh, Cyber? Like I said, even, that's what, that's what you said, right? I, th I thought that's what I heard you say, Sergeant Nobody. I, I remember distinctly hearing even, I completely, I completely agree. And I, anybody who says differently is a liar. I'm glad, Fisk, thank you very much for saying that, Fiscus. I hope so too. Okay, so you get finished building a PC like this. You're like, Roby, I want to uh, I want to put windows on it, but how much does a copy of Windows cost? Well, you know what, about between 100 and 150 bucks. But if you come over to VIP slash CDKDeals.com, and then you want to update Razor, apparently. Uh, come over to VIP slash CDKDeals.com. You can actually pick up a copy here for like 19 bucks for Windows 10, or you can pick up for Windows 10 Pro, $23, or you can spend $31 on Windows 11 Pro, or, or $29 on Windows 11 Home. But let's take a look, let's do, by the way guys, pretty sure, pretty soon, uh, you will not be able to do the free upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11, so uh, just at some point in time, I will probably stop pushing Windows 10 Pro, but it's worth it right now. So let's pick up a copy of Windows 10 Pro, but if you hit buy now, what was is now $23.09. But if you use RBCK at checkout, hit apply. What was $23.09 drops all the way down to $16.16. .16. So that activate windows thing goes away. You do get full service and support. And you also get the ability to customize your windows, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, the other thing that's worth, what about Microsoft Office? Say, for instance, you're doing school. You're getting ready to start winter quarter. Well, here's Office 21 Pro, um, which uh, you don't have to worry about the auto renew or anything like that. So here you can pick it up from, instead of $203.74, you can pick it up for $81.41. But if you hit buy now 
and you use code RBCK at checkout, what was $81.42 drops all the way down to $56.99. So there you go, you can basically pick it up, get your copy. If you have questions, we literally have had thousands, and I do mean thousands of people here at Robitech who've used this site to, uh, to pick up copies of Windows and activate it with no issue whatsoever. Um, so if you, they have great customer service, they, they, you get the codes really quick, um, and uh, you don't have to pay full price uh, for a copies of Windows 10 or Windows 11. So it will be BC Murray right now, it's, it still is, so. Um, so anyway, there you go, that is Windows 10, that is an inexpensive way to get a hold of Windows. <clears throat> the other thing I want to tell you guys about is welcome to RobyTech.com. RobyTech.com is an amazing site for you to basically check out. Um, we have all sorts of things like our builds, our, uh, our merch, um, basically our build mats, all that sort of stuff. But one thing I want to tell you guys about, a couple things I want to tell you about. First and foremost, the RobyTech Insider, a uh, great place to go get information on uh, RobyTech, like our streaming schedule, uh, the latest builds. Here's the one where we did the RX 7800 XT. Um, you can see the latest videos that we've released and any giveaways and stuff that we have as well, as well as community challenges, which we'll talk about the winner of the community challenge here in just a minute. The other thing too is you can find our builds here. So if you have a build, you really like this build that we built for Figment, say for instance, you can come over here to RobyTech Live. Here's the actual build as well as the stream so you can follow along as best you can. Here's our Lee and Lee 011 Evo build um, and all that sort of stuff. So again, all the parts uh, in one single location along with the videos to follow along as best you can. One build I would definitely recommend if you're looking for amazing build, this $1,000 ASRock build is absolutely bonkers and freaking crushes at gaming. Okay, and then last thing is we're gonna talk about is deals. So let's see what deals uh, Tom has found for us today. So, uh, XFX Speeder, AMD Ryzen, uh, sorry, AMD, AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT, uh, on sale $319.99. Just use that code from uh, Newegg. Uh, you want to pick up a RTX 4070 512, uh, sorry, 12 gig, or RTX 4070, uh, on sale right now $549.99 for the gigabyte. That's a great price for that card. Uh, the Nitro, oh, I need to buy this. Uh, the Nitro 7900 XTX 24 gig GDDR6. We're gonna be giving one of these away here in a couple of weeks, so on the 23rd. Uh, uh, you can pick this up, 979.99 over at uh, newegg.com. That's a great price for a 7900 XTX. Corsair 4000D Airflow Tempered Glass uh, Mid Tower ATX case uh, on sale right now, 179.99. Uh, that's a good cut. That's a that's a pretty decent pl price. There are less expensive, uh, there are less expensive cases um, for uh, that price. But if you want to pick one up, that's that's a good price for that that particular case. 55 inch 4K QLED. Wow, <laughs> 329.99. So if you're looking for a 4K uh, QLED uh, television, there you go, 329.99. And then the 990 Pro two terabyte Gen 4 NVMe drive. $139.99, wow, that's a good price for that. I'd say uh, ones I'm most excited, uh, it's basically these three right here. So this uh, 4070, the XF, uh, 7900 XTX, and this two terabyte. Though, I mean, if you need a cheap TV, that's a good option uh, for a cheap TV. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, that makes way more sense. Oh, it comes with an RM750E PSU. Well, that makes way more sense. Okay, that's why it's $179.99, that makes, Way more sense. That's actually a really good price then for that for a PSU and case. That is uh, that's a really good price. Okay, so now it's it's uh, it's these four. These are my favorite. Uh, I, I'm trying to start to avoid going to older gen uh, GPUs now that you have the 76, the 7700X, the 7800X. Um, I know they're only 319, but then again, I just feel like it's worth saving the money to buy a current gen GPU. Um, and then the same thing, the 7800 XTX is such a good price. So anyway, guys, those are the deals. Good job, Tom. And that makes way more sense uh, now that why Tom put it in there. Yeah, one terabytes and all that sort of stuff for super, super, super good price. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see if this, let's see if this posts. Cause that's what you guys want. That's what you guys care about. That's what Figment is waiting for. She's like, come on. I need to see my PC post. Oh, here we go. Let's 
First thing going in is the PSU, Ugh, the, sorry, the cable. There we go. There's that. There's that. And there is that. Feel like we're ready to go. Taking a drink. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Three, two, one. Ooh, lights, I see lights. I see one light not on. I see one. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, so we found one cable. Okay, so we got a cable to fix real quick. And one, oh, and we have another fan not spinning. Oh, it looks like it's jammed on something. Oh, haha, <laughs> okay. We'll get that stuff fixed. Little things. Okay, we have one RGB. There we go. Trying to find this one cable here. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Ugh. Pull it too hard. Okay, I'm gonna shut this down for a second. By the way, guys, it does post. There's the post. I'm gonna fix the RGB real quick. Kinda. Oh, jeez. Just gotta fix the RGB real quick. Find that, why that other one?
Okay, there we go. Okay, that takes care of that one. Now we just need to figure out why this happened to this other one here. I feel like there's a RGB. Cable that is not plugged in here somewhere. So just gotta find that cable real quick. Oops, sorry guys, going to static. Just gonna try and find the those are all plugged in. This plugged in. I feel like there's one. And this is why I group them up. Ah. I found the problem. Luckily, it's easy to fix. <laughs> okay. That's why I do what I do. It makes it way easier to do it this way. Okay, let's get one more zip tie just to clean up the, keep the one cable clean. Okay, cool, fixed. Zip, fix this. Okay, turn it on. Make sure all of our connections work. Oh, let's, oh. There we go. There's all our RGB. No sounds. And there we go. What are we doing on likes on YouTube, guys? We gotta be close. Get those last one, guys. We're at the very end. There we go. Okay, let's go to here. Let's turn on Expo. There we go. Finish it out, guys. Keep that look. Yeah, it's re it's it's posting. It's now reposting. Oh wow! I just like literally just punched my hand into that. There we go.
just waiting. This can take a while. There it goes. Expo is now enabled. Now we can put our glass on. It, uh, it's hard for me to answer that question in when I'm stream when I'm playing. There we go. Oh, look at that. It's already turning green. Look at that. It's like I planned it. Look at that. There you go. Already green. How's that? There you go right there, already green, ready to go. The only thing is, is that uh, AMD, uh, sorry, uh, Asus still needs to fix the GPU stuff. Like uh, hopefully we'll check to see if there's an update today. Um, they just need to fix the GPU stuff to, uh, to uh, for their eventually the 7700 XT will show the will actually do the cable the colors and all that sort of stuff. Guys, we need two more likes, then we're done. Okay, so we'll check. Uh, let's check uh, a suit. Let's check Armory Crate real quick. See if it happened to show up yet. Okay, now we can go to capture. So we'll go to here. If this, when this shows up, it'll show up here. Hey, there it is. Nope, no, never mind. That's not it. That's the aura kit. That's from memory. Still not the set. So eventually it'll show up in here and then the, the, uh, the PSU, the, uh, the GPU will work. While I'm doing that, let's see what Steam is doing. Hopefully updating. Okay. And then while we're finishing this, let's go ahead and download Ubisoft Connect. So it's just patching these. Apparently there was a couple patches, all good. Okay, so there's one, so we'll update this, but unfortunately still nothing for the, the GPU yet. The GPU's lit up, it's just not, Unfortunately, it's not the right color, you know? Let me grab my phone, because I'll have to put two-factor two authentication.
All right, let me put this in real quick. I'm just putting in my stuff, guys, real quick, hold on. Okay, there we go. Games download, okay. Okay, so we're gonna let that download. I think I'm just gonna check Armory, see it still doesn't just show up here. Eventually it will. Just keep looking here and eventually it'll show up. I wish it already did. Really wish this would figure out, but we got it already at tough and all that sort of stuff, so. Okay, so that's done. We're gonna let that download. This is, this is already updated now. Let's go ahead and just see what temps are like. Okay, so right now our temps are in the 60s. That's fine because again, we're doing steam stuff. <sighs> Let's go and run up Cinebench. I do expect temperatures to be a little bit warmer in this case. I mean, with this AIO. Okay, here we go. Fans are spinning up, which is fine. There it goes. Yeah, see, that's great. So it's better than, yeah, yeah, actually those are fine. 78, it's gonna get into the, probably into the low mid 80s, but again, perfectly fine temperatures for what we expected. Look at that, great. That's what I wanted to see, Figment. That's what I wanted to see, Figment. Not having any issues whatsoever. So good, good coverage. Again, just getting you a, a view of it running. You guys can hear it a little bit. But here's the build, just running beautifully, all green. And again, just looking at your temperatures here, no problem whatsoever, in the 80s, no issue. So we're not gonna have any problems whatsoever with temps. We have it a couple more minutes. But yep, not having any issue. Garage is downloading. Oh shoot, crud. 
forgot my controller. Okay, let me go grab, I'm gonna go grab controller from, be right back while this does, finishes its thermals. Kevin, can I use your controller? It's in here. It's right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So, I think what we can say, uh, for Abbott, yeah, actually you can see it right here. It's not gonna be, it's gonna, it's gonna get maybe a little bit higher than this, but it, it usually gets to around a thousand points. Did we hit it? Did we hit the YouTube goal? We had to have, right? There's almost 400 people here now. Okay, good, that's what I thought. So it'll get up to about a thousand points. So I don't know if I'm gonna wait, I'm not gonna wait for six minutes, because again, it doesn't, it, the temperatures are great. So, okay guys, so temps are awesome. No problem whatsoever there. Let us check out gaming. Open up MSI Afterburner. Uh, monitoring, okay, everything's good. Okay, cool. So let's go to library. Let's check out Starfield first. Now this should have, I think this actually has the new frame generation. Sorry, Mark. sorry, sorry Cole. My bad. My bad. Yeah, it should run well on a set. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It should run well on a... Okay, let's stop. I'm gonna go ahead and... Get rid of the music for you guys. So we'll get rid of music so that way you guys can hear game music. Oops. Hopefully, okay, we do hear, I hear music now. Okay, you guys are good. So we're playing at 1440p. Okay, let's check what we got here. So we're 1440p, whoa. That doesn't seem right. Let's go ultra. Render resolution. Upscaling is FSR2. Okay, so this has got variable render VRS. Where is it? Is it on here? Turn VSync off.
So we'll turn dynamic resolution off. Then that would be, well, that's, that's full. This is quality. Okay, well, let's see what this is like. Uh, I did not, so that might be why, okay. So we're, this. so I did not, so I have to install those drivers org. So we're getting 60 at Ultra. Need a drink. Bug at the last Nova will 70s. I just I read I I got the latest uh, one from them. I don't want to go to ship services right now. I didn't know you had to install the tech preview ones. I'm not gonna put those on somebody. So this will be when the. Because this is a this is a um, this is a commission build, so we want to show what it's like until we have a until we have the real one. So when did, when does the retail version come out? Okay. So yeah, you there will be FSR three. It's just not here yet. But this is how the game would run ultra 1440p as it is right now, which is beautiful. I mean, like there is nothing to complain about here. 72 frames per second, butter smooth with everything turned on. Look at that. You can enjoy some Starfield. Oh my gosh, guys. You guys are so, you guys are, so, sorry I turned, I didn't turn everything off. I didn't mean to keep start pro uh, motion blur on. Hold on. I just turned it on ultra. There you go, ultra. There it is. Motion blur's off now. But I mean, like, look at that. 68, 70 frames per second, 1440p, less than $2,000 system. That also looks incredible. Okay, let's go and land on the planet to see how a planet looks. Let's run out here, check it out. Why does she like this world so much? She might want to go, for planet, she might want to go down to high. You could change your resolution a little bit. Why is she, why is she so into this planet? I don't, I mean, it's, it's something. So let's go, let's check out, again, and, and this is 14, so let's go to settings. Go to gameplay, uh, display. Let's go down to high. Turn off motion blur so people don't yell at me. There you go. Now you're in this. Now you're in the 80s. Oh, there's some big. What are those?
Whatever they are, find the indigenous life and kill them. Don't want no crazy creatures running. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Kill the creatures. They're coming right for us. They're coming right for us. Well, it's level 15, dude. It almost killed me. Oh yeah, yeah, so it feels like Starfield. Look, you might want to go to high settings for planets, but again, ultra. Once you get the variable refresh rate stuff, you can absolutely do variable refresh rate um, and not have to worry about it at all. But yeah, there you go. So far, so good. You're gonna get higher up here now. Yeah, so now you're in the 80s. Okay, cool. So there is Starfield. Okay, let's check out next up. We can check out uh, Assassin's Creed Mirage. Okay, just waiting. You know, I need to, I mean, I could get, I didn't put on Forza. I, 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 there, I, I can only put so many games. Uh, Figment, what other games do you want to see on here? One day, I don't know why it's floating in a window. It might be this weird. Okay, let's change our graphic settings here. Everything's on high. Oh geez, I gotta restart the game. Oh, okay, we'll load, we'll load how it works for sure, Figment. I want, I want to show games that you want to show, because this is your PC. Right now I'm trying to figure out why this is not in 1440p. I get this issue sometimes with...
Wow would take a long time to install, or I would have installed it. I'll, not, I'll know that for next time. Or I, I know WoW is going to be amazing on this. Okay. This is where it does that stupid... It's the... It's the oh, there it is. Okay, so we got 1440, refresh rate, V-Sync, off. Okay. Okay, so we're graphics, we're at ultra high. Let's just see how this runs for now. This is 1440p ultra high Assassin's Creed. Okay, so it's 80, that's fine. God, this game looks so good. Eighty-six. In light of recent allegations of corruption against certain parties, the Khalifa would like to There's a climb. Wait, have I climbed this already? Yeah, I have climbed that. Let's go climb this one. So we can do some something cool. Whoa. I could just uh, randomly assassinate that guy. On this? RX-7700. Okay, so uh, I got Kevin over here is saying uh, at World of Warcraft at 1440p on a 70, should run a cap 240 frames per second. 200 frames per second. So you should be fine. Just get did a little pickpocketing. There's a, ooh, look at that guy. That is not the guy I wanted. I thought he, I thought he had something I could steal, but I guess not. Oh, wow, I'm not anywhere close to where I needed to be. Okay. Yeah. So I mean like it seems like this game is gonna be just fine. If you want to play this figment. There we go. Yeah. This is like full all the way out. Lots of stuff dropping into the 70s. But yeah, still, this is nice. This should be fine. You could drop it to high, get into the 120s if you really wanted to, but yeah.
Okay, well, there is... There is Assassin's Creed. Yeah, and the GPU temps are great. You guys can see that 49, 58. So for our temperatures, no problems there either. You can do FSR. So you do have FSR if you wanted to. So now we're in the, well, we're not, we're like still in the 80s, a little bit better. It's more interesting, guys. The more interesting one will actually be this one. Which I actually find a little bit better. Oh, it didn't sway. Oop, that would help. Now it's an FSR. So we're in the 90s now. No, it's still kind of the same. So 80s, 90s. Turn motion blur off, sorry about that. Okay, so this is XESS which I find a little bit less, like in terms of the upscaling quality, like even though it may not be the best, like in terms of frame rate, I do find that the impact in terms of the game, the visual quality of the game is higher on XESS than FSR. But yeah, there you go, there's Assassin's Creed. Okay, let's check out Hogwarts. It's six, it doesn't, you don't have to worry about it. It doesn't do adaptive GSK when you're uh, above, when you're well above 60. It'll only basically, if, you're no, if you don't have 60, that's when adaptive kicked in. Okay, let's check out Hogwarts, which is the next game she wanted me to check out. Luca Void, yes, it can run Crisis. Figment, are you outside of World of Warcraft and, and Hogwarts? Anything else you want to see? I have, I have Flight Sim on here, Baldur's Gate, if there's anything else that is important to you. Okay, we'll check out Baldur's after this. Okay, it's going to run beautifully, but we'll put it on. I want to show you your game, yeah. Second Life, wow. That's a game I haven't, that's like a blast from the past.
Okay, waiting for the video, to, the thing to get done. So far, you know what, honestly guys, I'm so far I'm pretty impressed with this. I mean, with the 7700 XT, I mean, this is a great, another great card in terms of capabilities. Okay, she wants me to go see the painter. Ooh, this doesn't look right. Okay, it's 2540 by, okay, let's do FSR2 at quality, uncapped frame rate. There we go. Everything on ultra ray tracing on. Okay. God, this game is pretty too. Now this one also has the new frame generation as well. Go find the lady, see if she's painting. <gasps> Figment, she's not painting. That looks good, right? The raindrops. I mean, I, I got nothing. I mean, guys, this is great. We can also, just because it's fun, go to here. Checking it quality. Again, you have, because XESS and FSR are, are open, like they're GPU independent, right? Like you can check both of them to see which version you like better in terms of visual quality. Both of them you're getting north of 60. 1440p ultra with ray tracing. I mean, you're getting reflections, all that sort of stuff. Cyber Relius keeps putting things in the wrong shape, <laughs> wrong chat. Chat, that's funny. He's so popular. This looks good, guys. I don't think we have anything to worry about here. Okay. So there is, there is Hogwarts Legacy. Last one she wanted to check out, Baldur's Gate. I expect this to run very well. Oh, hold on for one second. Let's go to side view. 
Then giveaways, that's right. She, then she's ready, she's, she's like, then get it ready and packed up so I can play with it with, at my house, Ruby. That's the most important thing. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, I'll restart the bot. Uh, ask come, it's about a hundred bucks. It's actually not too bad. Oh, Figment, you already have shipping taken care of. Does he want to do you? I don't, do you want to ship it USPS? I mean, that's up to you. I was about to say, I was like, uh, we're going to ship at UPS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly, Figment. Yeah, and we'll put, we'll remove the GPU. So you'll, the GPU you have to put in yourself, which you can figure out. It's pretty hard. I showed you how to do it. So... Okay, here we go. So let's look at our settings here. Disabled. Everything is on ultra. TSA, TAA, circular. We don't have FSR on. We're just gonna leave. You don't, on this one, you don't need to. There we go, 122 frames per second. God, this game is so pretty. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, snap. Oh, he wants to give me, he wants to give me lucky rings. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to save because that was cool. So anyway, uh, yeah, this was, uh, this was, uh, this was good. I wouldn't, I would, I'll, I'll get stuck into wanting to play this game. Whoa, it's a bear with a shiny nose. Give him a 
chance. You, step back. Go join the other tieflings. Druid or not, you're still an outsider to this place. Entering is forbidden. A moment, Giona. What? Hey, Cole's playing Eternal Rage. I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Just now, no? When the goblins came, you saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. That, I love this guy's mustache. I don't know published pile. I don't know when. I was told last. I was told about it. I, maybe I might have been misinformed. Beard is on point. In favor of someone called the absolute. The scandal. Ah, but his superstition all these goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I for one intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to that camp as we speak, in fact. If you excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. This dude's going to get killed. All right. Well, there is Baldur's Gate. So we showed Baldur's Gate. We showed Starfield. We showed Assassin's Creed Mirage. And we showed Hogwarts Legacy, all single-player games, which tells us a little bit about what Figment is looking forward to playing. We also showed Temperatures. We showed uh, how it runs at Cinebench. All in all, very impressive system for $2,000. Uh, and once they fix the little lighting stuff, which will come, it'll it'll all be uh, green. So uh, congratulations to Figment for having such an incredible system uh, all set up for her and all that sort of stuff. She is, uh, I'm glad it turned out exactly the way she wants it to. Uh, Jedi Survivor, I'll put that on the list of games from now on. Um, the problem is, is that it gets to the point where you have like so many games that eventually we'll be here for 30, 30 hours just looking at benchmarking. Um, but let's go ahead and start giveaways. I got to restart the, uh, I got to restart the, uh, bot real quick. Cause apparently it's not working. So we'll get the bot fixed, uh, for a second. And then we'll start We'll have two $25 new gift cards. So let me go to CloudBot. Let's go to switch to YouTube just to make sure. Cause it might just not be on. Yeah. The CloudBot for some reason wasn't even on YouTube. Okay, so hopefully that fixes that. Okay, so we're going to start our giveaways here, guys. Two $25 New Age gift cards up for grabs. Uh, exclamation point New Egg now for these.
And starting that giveaway right now, two $25 Newegg gift cards up for grabs, exclamation point Newegg now. Um, also, congratulations to, uh, let me verify, I think it's Pig Radio. I think it's Pig Radio for winning Clip of the Month. Uh, I'm just going to verify with Blondie. Yep. Can September clear the Pig Radio one Clip of the Month? Uh, so remember, your, uh, your Clip of the Month is up. That's a $100 prize. Uh, that's just a $100 cash prize. So congratulations to uh, our friend Pig Radio for winning that. Don't forget the Halloween PC Part Picker Challenges is open. Uh, that's going to be running the entire month or from some, some amount of time for October, building a spooky theme PC. Uh, cash prize for that as well. Uh, all the information over at discord.gg slash robytech uh, for your chance to win. Wow, this is, you know what? Honestly, this is a pretty stunning build. I really like how this build turned out. Am I running? I don't think I'm running. Let me see what I'm running here for the, for the, for the armory crate here. I'm waiting for that going in there. So the aura... Okay, cool. It's like, well, that's like, that's not what I wanted. Oh, so it's not showing though. It's meant to be white. Okay. There we go. That's more like a green and a white. Kind of liked it without the background. Looks a little bit better, a little bit cleaner. Okay. Can no longer win, enter the raffle. It could have been. Okay, drawing our winner. Congratulations to Miranda, uh, Mariana, and, oh, it wouldn't let me choose two. Okay, so it only lets, it looks like I'm going to, oh, we'll do one more, we'll just run it again. Congratulations. Marianella, you are the winner of the $25 Newey gift card. And then we'll run it one more time. So Marianella, Blondie, can I just let her get it from you? And then I'll try and pick another one. Or did you only get one? Did you already pick one, Blondie, or no? Do I need to pick, do I need to run it for one more? So I need so we just picked a winner, Marinello. So we need to pick one more, right, Blondie? Okay. Okay, we're gonna complete this and run it one more time, guys. Exclamation point new egg now. Exclamation point new egg now. Two minutes. Two minutes, guys. Now, uh, what's coming up? Monday. Well, now, sorry, not Monday. It'll be on Tuesday. Tuesday, we're going to be building a custom water-cooled build inside of the Azza Sanctum. So that's going to be happening on Tuesday. Then Thursday, we're building an all-blacked-out build inside of a Lee & Lee 011 Dynamic Evo XL. So that's going to be happening on 
Thursday. So we're going to be throwing lots of Noctua fans, trying to get it as blacked out as absolutely possible. Uh, Tuesday's build is a custom water cool build, thanks to EK Water Blocks. So you're definitely going to want to tune in for that. Should be a fun one. We're going to be soft tube uh, doing the whole thing from end to end right here on the stream. So it should be cool. So that's going to be happening on Tuesday and then Thursday. And then uh, there is no build, there is no stream on Monday. I have to head up to uh, Portland to stream to uh, get ready for an Assassin's Creed build. So that should be super cool as well. So um, should be a super cool stream uh, Tuesday, Thursday of next week. Uh, and then we have a bunch of really cool stuff coming up. Uh, the week after that, we got some mod workshop. We're going to be doing an Assassin's Creed mock workshop um, and uh, some other things. So that's going to be happening the week after. So some great stuff. And then we get into November. We got a uh, hard tube custom water cooled build. We got, we're going to be building the uh, EVA02, um, uh, the Evangelion build uh, for um, the fine folks over at Asus ROG. Um, we have a bunch of new cases that have come out by that point in time. So guys, lots of content still ahead and it should be a really, really great month. And don't forget, you can also win our PC. Uh, I meant to do it today, but we're getting to the end of the stream. Uh, so you can win the giveaway PC, which we have right down here. So the giveaway PC inside of the Corsair, sorry, Cooler Master, um, uh, I forgot what this, so let me get, I'll get all the specs and stuff for this stuff, but yeah, we got a, we got a PC giveaway uh, sitting right down here and we'll get all that stuff out and up onto the set this week. So yeah, should be cool. Okay. You can no longer enter the raffle. Congratulations to Bar Scopes over on YouTube. Wow. Two YouTube winners today. Congratulations, Bar Scopes. You are the winner of the $25 new gift card. Congratulations. Wow, two YouTube winners today. Wow, that's crazy. So anyway, guys, that is it for today's stream. Congratulations to Figment for winning uh, the uh, amazing, uh, sorry, for, for uh, uh, wonderful stream. I'm so glad your son and daughter had a pop of time. Totally worth the wait. Thanks again. Oh, and Blondie deserves rain. Not paid to say anything. Uh, congratulations to Figment for winning this amazing, or uh, sorry, for uh, commissioning this amazing build. That is it for today's stream, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. What giveaway do we have? Blondie, what giveaway do we have? What get wait, what giveaway? We gave away two $25 new gift cards. Oh, the $50. Okay, sorry. Oh yeah, $50. Okay, good. Now let's do the $50. We'll do exclamation point community for that one. I knew there was something we forgot. Okay, community. Exclamation point community. Turn off all the bots here real quick. Okay, commands, okay. Okay, here we go. $50 new gift card up for grabs. Starting that giveaway right, where is it? I'll run it like 50. Thousand times and yet I can't find it. Twenty-five, twenty-five, fifty. Okay, starting that giveaway right now. Two minutes, guys. Okay, starting this. Two minutes, guys, or one minute.
Okay, just waiting for the winner to get drawn. 30 seconds left, guys. Oh, I, I'm okay. I'm glad. This is why we always remember. This is sometimes we do what we do. Okay, you guys, you can no longer enter. Congratulations to Justin Jam 80. Congratulations, Justin Jam 80. You are the winner of the $50 new gift cards. Okay, now that is it for the stream. Everybody, thank you. Congratulations. And we will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. We'll see you later.